Hey, it's Lola and Mella, and we just thought we would film a, an extra video this month to tell you about some of the products that we have found that are really helping us on our ketogenic lifestyle. We should say that we are not paid to promote any of these products because nobody knows who we are. <laughs> and also that uh, we are focusing on getting most of our nutrition from whole food. But when you're on keto, you definitely want as many allies in your corner as you can possibly get. So here's just a few things that we've found that have really made things so much easier to so tolerate much, for so us. So much easier. So, so let's start... Okay, let's start with the one that we've been using for the longest, years actually, we've years. been using this product, and we have mentioned it before, and that is Zevia. So I think I have all of the um, flavors that are available in Canada. She's so hardcore <laughs> about Zevia. I am. It's my favorite. Um, um, if you're from the United States of America, you have a few more options. But in Canada, we have lemon, lime, ginger ale, root beer. What do they have in the States? Cherry cola. Have? They have a, like a Mountain Dew, Mountain Zevia, and a strawberry. <gasps> yeah, we're Zevia. very <laughs> jealous. <laughs> if Zevia is watching this video, why don't Canadians yeah. get strawberry? Yeah. I want strawberry I know. And Zevia so hard. So do I. I'm, mm. I covet it. Road trip? <laughs> yes. Um, they have cherry cola. Regular cola, black cherry, Dr. Zevia, caffeine free cola, grape, cream soda. Just a wonderful variety of, mm -hmm. of your, you know, standard soda or pop flavors. And I love the taste of them, personally. When I first started drinking them, I had never been exposed to too much stevia, which is the main sweetener in them. So they do have a bit of an aftertaste. It gets, it takes a little getting used to, but oh, they are so good. And when you're on keto and you know that like diet sodas have sweeteners in them that can really cause a lot of harm in your body, that can spike your blood pressure, blood sugar and stuff like that. You just want to avoid all carbonated beverages. Yeah. Zevia is a hundred percent safe for you. It is carb free, naturally sweetened not colored with artificial yeah. coloring, There's not no flavored caramel. with artificial flavorings. No caramel color in any of them, and they're sweetened with stevia and erythritol, so those are both natural sweeteners and are totally safe on a keto diet or a low carb. Or for diabetics, for people yeah. who are just trying to avoid refined sugars, like this is not a keto specific beverage, this is just an awesome yeah. alternative to pop. And I find especially the colas, to me taste like a diet pop and it took some getting used to I don't like the taste of diet pop but these I just I love them now I am a big fan of the fruity ones and I never drank grape anything before Zevia and the grape is one of my absolute favorites that reminds me orange is the one I'm missing because I don't like orange pop oh I had some orange I could have brought it oh well it's or it's in an orange can it's orange yes but the orange the grape the black cherry they're clear beverages yeah so you're if you have kids, man, they are perfect. Not that either of us have kids yet. But, but still, yeah, spillage-wise, yeah, I spill. It's not going to leave a stain. So win, win, win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so along the beverage line, recently we were walking through um, uh, London Drugs and found Activate, which is basically flavored water that does have some electrolytes. So if you're really in a pinch and you need something that's really refreshing, this is another great alternative. Um, again, here in Canada at least, it comes mm -hmm. in five flavors, which we've got um, pomegranate blue, uh, exotic berry, lemon lime, I think. Oh no, this is pineapple coconut, sorry. Uh, this one is lemon lime and passion fruit. Mm -hmm. They're really tasty, really, really refreshing. Very much. Um, and it's a it's a vitamin water. Yes. With the vitamin is in the cap. So you twist yeah. the cap and then the vitamins just go into the give water. give you a demo. You just twist yon cap and I don't know if you can see it happening mm -hmm. here. Oh, it just all spilled into <laughs> there. Then you shake it up and you got yourself very tasty, refreshing beverage. <laughs> and I think as it says on the bottle that the vitamins are kept separate so that it's not, yeah. uh, you know. Well, they don't lose their, 
the good thing, stuff doesn't all disappear. You know, I'm sure there's a scientific way to yeah. say it. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> we don't really know much about this, but it is a nice little alternative. Um, oh, here we go. Vitamins A, B, and C deteriorate sitting in water. That's why we keep ours stored separately in our unique yeah. caps so the vitamins stay fresh. They're, and it's really yeah. delicious. I love this one. The pineapple coconut is my favorite. I'm a pina colada drinker, and I miss my pina coladas. So <laughs> this one, actually, I could I would drink it just as water all I'm day, every sure day if I could. I'm not sure I have a favorite yet. Mm, but that one's my definite favorite. Let's... Well, it's going down pretty nice. I mean, I may as well. You might as well. Partake. Uh, okay, so if you started keto and you're not really a breakfast person, a lot of people will tell you try Bulletproof Coffee, and both of us subscribe to that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, I basically just drink Bulletproof Coffee in the morning, which is just coffee that has a certain amount of fat added to it, and it really gets me through several hours before I need anything to eat. And uh, Bulletproof Coffee is also really great for ketone production. Um, a lot of people use bulletproof coffee just to get into ketosis. So when we talk about adding fat, lots of people use grass-fed butter or cream and things like that. We like to use MCT oil, which is concentrated medium chain triglyceride oil, um, mostly derived from fresh coconuts, from coconut oil, I mm -hmm. guess. I recently, so Lola's been using this now sports version of MCT oil in her bulletproof coffee and up till now I was using the alpha MCT oil um, but the other day they were out of the regular one and I saw this one called energy and this actually got me really excited because it's a it's a blended oil that has been optimized for ketone production so it's a blend of pure MCT oil fair trade virgin coconut oil um, organic chia oil, organic camelina oil, flax oil, certified sustainable palm fruit oil, natural raspberry essential oil, and cold pressed, uh, oh yeah, that was cold pressed organic uh, virgin coconut oil. So it has like a light raspberry flavoring to it, and you can definitely see that it's not like pure MCT because it's got a bit of a color to it, so a bit of a smell, a bit of a flavor. Um, just slightly raspberry in flavor, which I actually enjoy in my coffee. So really excited about this one because um, it's got just a lot of good things in it. And what it does actually is it has a better ratio of omega-3 to 6 oils so that um, it like protects the protects the omega oils somehow when the ratio is proper. So anyway, if you can find a product like this, this was blended in Canada under um, under a special project that they're doing in blending these oils. So I'm not sure if this one is available in the States, but pure MCT oil, you can't go wrong with it, that. It helps to um, retain lean muscle mass, which is pretty big. Um, and the MCT oil, as well as the energy oil, they are always in a liquid state, and the MCT oil is completely tasteless and odorless. So I started out using just coconut oil in my coffee, but I got kind of sick of the coconut taste after a while. So this is perfect. Yeah. Um, oh, I think we're, we're going to run out of time in eight minutes. Okay. We have nine minutes. <laughs> Go. Next. Um, you talk about something. Next, we, let's talk about, actually, let's keep talking about coffee. Um, one thing that I, there is a Bulletproof Coffee brand out there with beans and oh, oils yes. and stuff. So we don't use that. Okay, so it's not Bulletproof it's, Coffee. I, okay. I think of it as a counterfeit Bulletproof Coffee. Yes. It's the same idea, it's just not the brand. Anyway, um, something that I like in my Bulletproof Coffee is... Fatty uh, Coffee? I'm in my fatty coffee, I don't know. Keto coffee? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Keto whatever. coffee. Um, is some flavored stevia drops. So this is creamy caramel. Um, I've also had chocolate. They have lots of different flavors. Vanilla, raspberry, strawberry, mint, I think. Um, and I really like it. It just adds a little bit of flavor. I'm a sugary coffee drinker normally before I started keto. So this helps to give me that little bit of sweetness and flavor that I... Um, that I like. But so you're so sweet already. Aww. On the vein of sweeteners, 
we're going to talk to you about our favorite all over kind of sweetener, which is called Swerve. And it is amazeballs. Really, like they, the Swerve is a blend of, what is it again? It's mostly erythritol. It's erythritol, I and I think there's maybe erythritol something. and a word that is too long and natural flavors. Yeah. It's oh, non GMO, it's like sugar, but it's like all sugar alcohols that are keto friendly and net so zero, zero carbs. Net zero carbs, which yeah. we love. And I mean, it is like, it's very much derived from fruit. Fruits, erythritol is like it's, a, yeah, fruit sweetener. a fruit sweetener. So yeah. it, it's excellent. Like it doesn't have a wonky aftertaste to it. It bakes up really nicely. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't, the taste of it doesn't change when you bake it into mm -hmm. something, which I really like. And it comes in both a granulated and a confectioner's version. So, and it's a one to one sugar replacement, which is yeah. really nice. And I actually find it a little sweet. Um, when it, with a one to one, so I play around with it and mm -hmm. usually put in a little bit less. Um, but it's it's wonderful. I've made lots of different desserts, yeah. cookies, brownies, Cheese cheesecakes. cheesecakes. It's it's awesome. It's such yeah. a great. It's uh, unlimited. Yeah, it's really really good. Um, so I hope you guys can all find this one because if you're living without swerve, <laughs> you're not living. Really at all. not living at all. <laughs> oh, there's really no swerve in that bag. Okay, next. <laughs> is Chips. another Canadian company here which we're really really proud of. Um, I'm constantly seeing uh, keto reddit topics on how to replace chips in your diet mm -hmm. for people who are snackers. These parsnip chips are bonks. They are so so good. They are and, great. Um, they are again non-GMO and they're just like I love the ingredients list. Parsnips, non-hydrogenated sunflower oil, and sea salt that's it mm. so um these are coming out of british columbia and they're really really tasty like yeah. parsnips have a little bit of sweetness to them but they crunch just like a potato chip I'm yeah i'm just gonna show you one of these here so it is very much like snacking mm. on chips it's crunchy it's salty it does have like mellow a bit put, of a sweetness but i love that yeah you can put dip on it Mm -hmm. I don't though, because I love them. Yeah, so I know that's like the this. thing. I usually need a, a dip to go with my chips, but these I love just plain. They're awesome. This company has a ton of potato chips as well as beet chips and carrot chips, but of course the parsnips are the only ones that are low carb friendly. And how? Listen, with this, twenty chips, four grams. Forty. Four grams. Oh, four grams of yeah. carbohydrates yep. and a gram of fiber. So three grams net carbs. For 20 chips. You can't go wrong with you that. You really can't. It's one of those things you could almost get away with mindlessly snapping mm -hmm. on this. So, um, next, something fairly new that we love is the Paleo Bar. The Paleo Bar. And this is some really basic packaging. Chocolate flavor coated bar. Um, it is. Oh, I have to do math. Mm -mm. The company is out of the U.S. and they're called Designs for Health. So this product is available online for both Canadians and Americanos. And um, we actually did not know anything about this product. Our naturopath was like, hey, if you guys are doing keto, you'll probably love these. And we're like, mm -hmm. So when he left the room, we tried it and it was so mm -hmm. good. Great. And it's um, seven net grams of carbs. Um, and just, they're really, yeah, delicious and, um, a good amount of both protein and fat, eight grams of fat, seven or nine grams of protein. So mm -hmm. it's a nice balance between the two. Um, I personally am having a hard time hitting my protein goal. So something like this that has a, just a touch more protein than fat is actually really helpful for me. And I just like, can't say enough that they're delicious. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, we're not going to mention the, the really well-known variety of <laughs> low-carb protein meal replacement type bars, okay? We're not going to mention them. No. By name. This will blow your mind, like, yeah. hands down 5,000 times better than the next leading <laughs> K 
keto with <laughs> protein bar. There's so like this is like a candy bar. Yeah, it's it completely has different. No proteiny aftertaste. Yeah. I mean, it's not a full meal replacement. It's 150 calories. It's a perfect snack to get you through an afternoon or a chocolate craving or something mm-hmm. like that. It is candy bar material. It is. It's so delicious. And sometimes, you know, if I'm if I'm not that hungry or I don't want to spend seven mm-hmm. carbs on it, I'll break it in half and I'll just have half. And that's enough too. Like just to have, if you're looking for something sweet or chocolate or that, yeah, yeah that, oh gosh, uh, they are so good. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. We, we literally left. Okay. We took a half a bite in the office and we left with a case. <laughs> yeah. So like, cause we did, we knew we were coming back yeah. for a while. We left with a case. We're probably going to have to order another one at some point because, yeah. but I'm rationing. I don't want to overdo it, but these are amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Are we through um, our list of products? Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, there's definitely more that I use on a, you know, daily basis here and there, but these are the staples, I think. These, these are, are definite staples. Like, this this is the stuff that I generally have to have in my kitchen at all times. Mm-hmm. Aside from bacon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously Which bacon. Which is a keto staple, yeah. but... But yeah, like there's lots of things that we use here and there and all the time, even yeah. uh, in the, like in whole foods, there's lots of staples that I have, but as for products mm-hmm. that I feel like I can't do keto without, this is some of the best and you Absolutely. really can't go wrong. We're going to put links to all of this stuff down in the link area. Yeah. Just below the, the video. Link, just below the video in case you've never been to YouTube. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We've got, I hope, a really exciting update <laughs> coming for you at the end of the month again. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully this gave you some ideas. If you have any products or things that you love, um, comment below the video. Let us know. Yeah. Maybe we're missing out on something and we don't even know. <sighs> yeah. Holy Grail products. But do not say say. anything about Halo Top ice cream because we can't get it here in Canada and I'm very bitter about that. No, but we did find a Chapman's, Lola yes. found a Chapman's, um, yeah, yeah, okay. We, she did find an ice cream that is really good. Um, it is sweet with super low, so that's never going to be our first choice, but it is really delicious. It is. Like, it's, it's very creamy. It tastes like, and it's lactose free too, if you can, don't do lactose. Which we don't need, but I mean, whatever. It was the only low carb one that I could find at the grocery store, so yeah, it's the one Yeah, we're talking half a cup for, what is do the math again. Se- they uh, also have six. ice cream sandwiches. Half a cup is six grams of six carbs. Six grams of carbs. So uh, half a cup of ice cream is nothing. But yeah. at the same time, when you don't feel like you need it all the time, sometimes yeah. a spoonful is enough to get you through a day. Exactly. It's enough carb-wise for half a cup of ice cream. But um, I came from a place of blizzards all the time, and so this is a lifesaver. This is an 18-minute video. Of course it is an 18-minute video. All right, video. <laughs> we're going to cut it off. It's so stupid. We can't yeah, keep a video we down. We cannot. Sorry about that. We're so excited about the being almost six months done. We will talk to you at the end of the month. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.